Yes, yes. Listen, it has become very, very clear that through this pandemic, we have all become very exposed. We are being exposed globally. We're being exposed nationally. And most importantly to this video and to this message, we're being exposed personally. Those things that we thought were important are not important anymore. Those things that we did think were important are all of a sudden more important now. And so, and so there's something that we, that we have to start thinking about as we sit at home and, and, we, and we talk about everything that's happening right now. We have to start thinking about what are we being exposed on and what can we do about it? Because the fact of the matter is, a lot of the things that you put on a pedestal for many, many years, for, 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 for over 10, 20 years, cannot be at a pedestal anymore because they don't exist anymore. Many people, many things, things like money, material things, jobs, certain relationships, you put them on a pedestal for such a long time, and now all of a sudden, they're not important anymore. We're being exposed. And some of those things that we didn't think about as often are all of a sudden important. Family is more important. Being home is more important. You know, certain relationships are more important than they were in the past. And so we're being exposed. We're being exposed in such a huge way that we don't even know how to deal with it. And the best way that we can deal with it is by saying, you know what? I can't wait for things to go back to normal because we cannot for, for one second fathom with the, with the fact that the things that we thought were important in real life are not really important. They're not really important. We've been giving 120% to things that are not really important and then giving 10% of effort to things that should be important. And that's important. We're not talking about it enough. That's what we need to talk about. We need to talk about these things that we're being exposed on. Some good and some bad. And we have to really we have to really figure out how can we face those things. Because it's not all negative, right? Some of the positive things are that are that you're being exposed now and, and, and you're you're really be, being able to, to to see that 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 relationship that you thought was important and that you thought was going good. Guess what? It really is going good because you're home for all these days and, and, and all these hours at a time and you're able to deal with it. But some of you can't. Some of you can't deal with being uh, alongside with somebody who you're in a relationship with for such a long time. And so we're being exposed in positive ways and negative ways. And theories that we thought were true are not really true anymore. And it's important. I want you guys, as you stay home and you watch this video, I want you to start thinking about these things. I want you to start thinking about what, what, are, what are some of the things that I thought were important that, not, that are not really important. And what are some of the things that I didn't think were important that all of a sudden, hmm, now they're important. And, 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 and we got a quick little flash of that when the whole Kobe Bryant thing happened and, and, and he died with his daughter and we started talking about how, how much we wanted to spend time with our family and our loved ones because it was so important and it was all over social media for like a few days and all of a sudden we just fell back to going back to a regular life again. And now we're being exposed to that again in a whole different way. And so my, my, my question to you is, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about this whole situation when it's all over? Because guys, listen, again, those things that we thought were important, they're not important anymore. They're really not. And we're starting to realize now that although we were MVPs at work, although, although, although we were so great at our job and we were moving up, we're not MVPs at home. We're not MVP dads. We're not MVP moms. We're great at the workplace. We're great at the club. We're, we're, we're great at the barbershop, right? We're, we're great at the nail salon, but we're not great at home. We're not great, we're not, we're not great with our kids. We're complaining about, about schooling them at home because we have no idea how to interact with them anymore because we left it all up to society and to teachers and to everybody else. And all of a sudden, we're being exposed as not as great as we thought we really were. And that's just a fact. And so guys, three questions I have for you guys to think about. And I really want you to pull out a notepad and write these down. The first thing I want you to think about is what are, the, what are some of the things that you overvalued before this whole pandemic thing happened? What are, what are some things that you overvalued that you don't have to value as much? Number one, Number two, what are some things that you should value more? That perhaps before you didn't value them, and now you're, you're like, you know what? Maybe I should value a little bit more of time with my family, of time at home, of, of, of calling my parents more often, of just those things that we should value more. Think about those things. And the third one, and perhaps the most important one, is what are you going to do about it? Because it's one thing for you to know something. It's a whole other thing for you to do something about it. So what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about the things that you overvalued that really don't mean nothing? And what are, you going to think, what are you going to do about the things that you didn't value that do mean something? What are you going to do about it? What's your plan? You're home, not doing anything, but learning how to do videos on TikTok. Stop it and start writing down. What are you going to do about it? Because when it's all over, life is going to continue on. And what are you going to do to say, you know what? During this time, I changed this and I changed that. And I made myself a better person. Because there's the chance right now. There's halftime. You, you took a shower. You saw some of the tape of the first half. What are you going to do in the second half? That's the question. What are you going to do about it? You've been exposed. 
What are you going to do about it? 